the very first thing that calms your nervous system is connecting to your body and your breath. If you ever feel this agitated energy, this fight or flight, breathing deeply will bring you down. So let's start with our connection to our body and then we'll move, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> let's start with the connection to our body and then we'll move into our breath. Your feet are firm on the ground, rotate them side to side, front and back, and set them down, pressing down with a little bit more weight in the heel. Knees gently bend as the pelvis tucks forward and the perineum roots down to the earth. Grounding lets any agitation flow into the earth. So this very simple posture with your legs will also calm your nerves. Lengthening up the spine and dropping the shoulders, tucking the chin benefits releasing nervousness in the upper body. Our parasympathetic nervous system can activate and slow us down. Inhale, the hands float up to the arms to the shoulders and then over and down, palms facing down. Inhale again, arms float up, bringing the hands so the palms touch, drawing them to heart center, gazing at your fingertips. Breathe gently in and out of your nose. Separate your hands, one hand open, the other in a loose fist to greet it, and set the intention today to let a sense of calm flood through you. If you ever feel any agitation, deepen your breath and let that go. Bring your hands to your lower dantian. This is your lower energy center, just behind and below the navel. And we're going to do deep abdominal breathing Inhale through your nose, relax the muscles of the abdomen. Let it move out as the diaphragm moves down when the lungs expand. As you exhale through your nose, let the abdomen sink back in, squeezing it in, compressing, massaging this important energy center. Gaze softly into the distance, eyes partially closed. We're always elevated in our nervous reactions, whether it's commercials getting louder on the TV that trigger us, something that happens when we're driving, a thought that pops into our head, and our breath helps us regulate and let go of all these little stresses throughout the day. These factors that agitate our nerves. Lengthen your breath as much as possible with at least four seconds for the inhale and six for the exhale. Those of you who have been practicing for a while should be reaching for 10 second inhales and 11 to 12 second exhales. We'll be here for about another half minute, 30 seconds. In and out of the nose. Feel the cool breath as it moves down into your lungs and the warmth of the breath as it moves up and out your nose. One more deep breath here. Release your hands. Rub your palms together vigorously. 
we're going to be tuning into our chi energy that moves within and around us. And when we use the Lao Gong points, pericardium eight points in the center of our palms, we begin to notice this movement of energy. And as we focus our mind and our eyes, we calm and relax. Gaze between your palms. You might already notice a vibrating and buzzing, tingling. You might see a color. You might even smell a smell of this energy. And we're going to begin moving, inhaling, drawing the hands apart, exhaling, bringing the palms back towards each other. As you inhale and draw apart, it's almost as if you're pulling taffy. And as you exhale, pressing in, you might have the feeling of magnets resisting each other. If you're very sensitive to your chi, you can open wide. You just want to feel that tugging sensation the whole time. If you're not as sensitive, a smaller pull, just a gentle opening and closing is fine. Remember the knees are bent, the pelvis tucks down, the spine lengthens, chin gently tucked. We'll do one more here in this position. And as the hands exhale in, bring one hand on top, the other below, and we'll inhale, lifting up to the heart, and exhale, pressing back down to start. Keep your gaze, once you're ready, between your palms, feeling into this energy. We'll do one more in this position. And bring your hands horizontal again, and then move the other hand on top. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, dropping your shoulders, lengthening your spine, keeping your gaze between your palms. One more here. Bringing the hands back. And step out gently to the side so your feet are about shoulder width apart. I'm going to scooch forward a little. We're going to begin rolling our ball. I like to think of drawing the top hand back as the bottom hand comes forward. It doesn't matter how you roll your ball. But what is important is that the palms always face each other. So whatever method works for you is perfectly fine as long as you keep that connection. So I bring that top hand back, the bottom hand forward, and we're gonna begin moving, bending one knee as we draw to one side, and then bending the other, keeping that spine nice and straight, the gaze between your palms. There's no extreme right or wrong. Even if you have a problem facing the palms, that's okay. It's more important to feel relaxed energy, breathing gently in and out of your nose. As you practice this movement, it will become effortless. It's just like everything else we do. 
let go of any expectation. Expectation, a drive to perfectionism, really aggravates our nervous system. So, at least for this moment, let go. Breathe, feel your breath gently moving, your spine long, your legs grounded and strong. Circulating your energy, your vital life force as you move. We'll do one more time each side. And release. Push palms exercise. Bring one hand up in your heart in front of you. The other hand's palm touches and presses in. Inhale as you shift your weight to one leg. Exhale, step forward and bend that front knee as you press the arms forward, spine is straight. Make sure your knee doesn't go over your toe. And then we inhale, shift the weight back, turning the palm that was up, turn those fingers down and press back in. The back hand, exhale as you press the fingers up and forward. Inhale, turn the fingers down, draw back, gazing at your hands. Exhale, press forward and really resist. Feel your biceps move and strengthen your spine long. As we use our arms, we're opening the heart and pericardium channels as well. This is tied to our nervous system. So when those channels are open, we can really calm the nervous system. Exhale, press. Fingertips down as you inhale, draw in. Imagine exhaling stagnant chi and inhaling fresh chi. Mixing the fresh chi in the cauldron of your body. We'll do one more on this side. And this time as we inhale and draw in, shift your weight. Bring the foot back, exhale, inhale, the weight goes to that back leg, and then step forward, fingertips up, the other palm is horizontal as you press forward. Inhale, shift the weight back, turn the back fingertips down as you inhale, exhale, press. The palm that's in front is always horizontal, it's the back hand that moves. Exhale, press. Inhale, draw in. Shifting, uh, just a reminder for, I know you all know, but when we shift our weight, our body position, we also shift our energy, our perspective. It's a metaphor for what we need to do in our lives. If we feel anxious, tense, agitated, just shift your perspective, maybe physically change the room you're in, the space you're in. Mentally change what you're focusing on. Shift your weight and 
and bring the feet side by side. So we're gonna continue to um, release by doing some gentle patting. Pat up underneath your collarbone. Pat down the inside of your arm, hitting all of the parts of your arm. Pat your hands and fingers. Pat up the outside of the arm. Across the chest. Over to the other side. Pat down the inside of this arm. Just a gentle patting here. Pat all the fingers up the outside. Across the chest again. And then down. We're gonna go down the outside of one leg. Up the inside of that leg. Pat across the lower abdomen. And down the outside of the other leg. Up the inside. And then just pat. We're gonna sweep that same pattern now to calm the energy, so draw the hand up past the collarbone, down the inside of your arm, up the outside, across the chest, the other hand takes over at the other collarbone. Sweep down the inside of the arm, up the outside of the arm, across the chest again, and then down your sides, down the side of the leg, over the toes, up the inside of the leg, across the lower abdomen, down the outside of the other leg, and up the inside. And we'll do three circles. Doesn't matter which direction. One, two, three. We're going to do um, thrusting fist, not from a horse riding stance today. We're going to do it from this position. We're really, I want you to focus on the idea of letting go and finding your voice. So often we have stress because we can't say what we need to say in a healthy way. And there might be things you can never say. I'm grappling with one of those right now. Some angry thoughts that will just not need, can't be voiced. So I need to find a way to assert what I need in a different way. And this helps you find that answer. Hands are in loose fists by your side. Inhale. Exhale, bring the fist forward, turning the thumb down at the end, a tight fist here. And then inhale, draw the shoulder blade, then the elbow and the fist back. Exhale through the nose, as the other hand comes forward, turning the thumb down at the end. Inhale, bring the thumb up, bring in the shoulder blade, the elbow, and then the hand. Exhale, press. Inhale, draw in. Last one. Exhale, release. Inhale, draw in. We have two more um, motions that we'll do. The first is waves on the ocean, and then we'll close with the centering and bamboo swaying. Step the feet out about shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, continuing with the strong wuji position, breathing through your nose. Bring your chi ball back in front of you. Bend the knees and inhale, lift the knees as you lift your arms up to shoulder height, your gaze between your palms. Exhale, sink to the center, and inhale, lift. Exhale, we're gonna reverse the breath. Inhale, sink down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, draw in, exhale, let go. Gently moving and flowing like waves on the ocean, the palms facing each other as we move from side to side. If bending the knees is challenging, you can keep them straight. This just pumps our chi 
relaxes and lets the stress and agitation flow to the earth. We'll do one more each side. Bring your feet side by side so they're touching. And we will center our chi. Palms are face up above your pelvis and below your navel. Inhale, gaze at one palm as the arm floats out to the side and up, keeping your gaze on the palm and hand as you exhale, lower the hand through center. Inhale, gaze at the other palm as it floats up. And then gaze at the thumb as it strokes down and centers your chi. Inhaling up. Exhale, lower. We'll do one more time each side. Close your eyes. Bring your hands on top of your lower abdomen, one hand touching the body, the other the back of the hand, and let the body rock and sway, absorbing the calm, letting it flood through you. Rock and sway, let go. your hands, open your eyes. I hope you carry this sense of peace and calm throughout your day or evening and know that it is always here for you whenever you need it.